So yeah, we're up to we we have to fill the um the living books shaped hole in our hearts now and we might as well just keep going with humongous games. <laughs> And oh, I just realized how friggin' loud that was. Uh, turn that right down. Somewhere in the oh. Alps. Is that. So, Agent Gracefully, you're yeah, part of our spy exchange program from right. Canada. Spy Fox 2, some assembly required. I'm trying to travel incognito. Actually, you're traveling in the Alps. What do you have there? I got something very important out of a smelly trash can. Well, of course it's smelly. If you got it out of a trash can, you need a hobby. No, not smelly. Oh yeah, smelly. that's the um. As in like, the society of meaningless evil, largely lying and yelling. Get smart. Course, Chaos or something nemesis. like that. Spy Fox, you've got to get this trash. I can't even remember what it was for. Uh, oh no, it's no, Spectre or something idea. for. Uh, I think I. Um, actual James Bond. And take this gadget from Professor Quack. You may need it. What is it? Dehydrated skis. The side of this little pill is a pair of skis. All you have to do is add water. <laughs> don't put and it up your butt. Tell, why would I need a pair of skis? I came to get information, not recreation. You may need them to get away from those bad guys. Good luck, my <laughs> Oh, oh, it's a helicopter coming out of the hat. All right. That's one way of doing it. Oh, the pea minions. <laughs> they are indeed angry. Got water? Yeah. Actually kind of start to a kid's game, that's for sure. <laughs> Just land with the, you know, the little sled thing. All right. <laughs> I've got to These get minions are pretty Although organized. Not gonna lie. Getaway cottage. I've got to get this bag to Spy Corps headquarters. Yeah. All right. Guess we use our gadget already, and also the smelly bag. All right. Um. Oh, we gotta click to actually bring this bit up. All right, dunk that in the water. Water, work your magic. The okay. dehydrated skis are now rehydrated. Huh? Feet don't fail me now. Skis, I mean. Oh, we're not supposed to ski into the minions. Oh, we could do that. Either way. I wonder which way I should go. When the cave seems appropriate. <laughs> Just random yeti. <laughs> like, mm. Yep, straight in the plane. Did you miss me, Chief? So you've analyzed the trash bag, I see. And what have you found? I just realized that chair is really disproportionate to his arm. Robot. It's like he's got this gigantic arm on him. Required. Sounds like an excellent title for one of my adventures. Evil robot dog, sorry. It has a mailing label that reads To La Roche, Care of Chateau La Roche, World's Fair. Hmm. Inside the box are assembly instructions. You'd better take these with you, Spy Fox. Wow. You oh, he actually does have a really giant it. hand. Like, what is the boss meant to be, be though? To their usual no goodness. You'd best go check yeah, out like his body there. would extend way past the top of that chair. I'm, I'm puzzled. Center. I'm on my way, Chief. Oh. Spy Fox, are you okay? Shaken, but not stirred, Monkey Penny. So it looks like we're on to something big. Yes, I think Smelly is up to some monkey business, Monkey Penny. And it looks like it's up to you, me, and Professor Quack to get to the bottom of it. 
Okay. Well, you and me anyway, Monkey Penny. I brought the assembly instructions I got out of the smelly trash bag. Well, of course it's smelly if you got it out of a trash bag. Oh, they're gonna keep doing no, that joke Monkey this whole Penny, time, aren't they? Smelly. smelly, as in mm -hmm. the Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny Lying and Yelling. Our evil nemesis. Lying and yelling? That's what Why the Y stands for? Assembly okay. Instructions here with me. Then you can refer to them whenever you're back here at the mobile command center. And remember, you can contact me via your spy watch at any time. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, so Don't what, forget uh, to check out the spy vending machine, Spy Fox. It's full of new gadgets for you to try out. I'm sure you'll find some of them quite useful. Thanks. Now I need to go I'm get sure busy and go give that LaRoche up a chateau, LaRoche, a visit and find out just what he's up to. Yeah, fickle. All right, well, let's have a look at the instructions for one giant evil, evil robot. robot made by Smelly Toy Division. Oh, we don't get to look at anything specific. Okay. Well, let's let's check out the gadgets then. I bet these are cool spy skates. They look sharp, Professor Quack. How do they work? I've always loved the grace and beauty of figure skating, but being in the spy biz never left time for the years. Did of Professor training, Quack so I created actually these. was he meant to sound like um, Jerry Lewis as the Nutty Professor last time? To perform and voila, it's sounding like him now. With you in them, perform it perfectly. Well, those could sure help to put the villains on ice. Ah, right, Spy Fox. I like these new blueberry flavored blueprints. Oh yeah, that was his running thing. He eats the blueprints. All right, what else we got? A spy key replicator can. What's the key to this gadget, Professor Quack? That's a one-shot camera, like no other in the world. It's specifically made for replicating keys. You take a picture of the key you want to replicate, then bake it in an oven. The it's cross between like Jerry Lewis and, and uh, Bill Cosby for some reason. Of the key you took the picture of. It can only hold one picture at a time. But you can take a picture over another picture. If you bake a picture into the wrong key, just insert the key back into the camera and it will turn back into key film. I'm sorry, what did you say? Don't worry, it's a point and shoot easy bake gadget. All right, well that sounds reasonably useful. It's a useful. good thing I need my fiber. Mm -hmm. That's the spy key replicator can. All right, I'll grab one of them. Beautiful. All right, what other useful gadgets are in here? Let's have a look. Ooh, grenade. The termite grenade. I'm sure this gadget isn't bug-free, Professor Quack. How does it work? You've got to be careful with this one, Spy Fox. Toss it at something made of wood and get out of the way. It's good for one serious pulping. That's not something you want laying around the house. Not unless you're good friends with a carpenter. <laughs> These blueprints are an acquired taste I haven't acquired yet. Hmm. Okay. That's the termite grenade. I'll grab that. What is Monkey Penny doing, by the way? It's just like oh, I'm just gonna stand around. Oh wait, let me adjust my um my chair. Anyway. What else we got? An alarm deactivator. What in the world could this gadget be used for? Really? Really, Spy Fox? Well, it's used to turn off alarms. You attach one end to where the alarm signal is coming in, and then attach the other end to where the alarm signal is going out. The alarm signal is then redirected harmlessly into the alarm deactivator, keeping the alarm from going off. It just looks like a wire with two alligator clips on either end. Yes, yeah. it's beautiful in its simplicity, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. I once printed these on exploding paper. But man, did those cause heartburn. A bit worse than heartburn, imagine. I imagine That's if you'd sold it whole. Right. Um, so I think we can take four. I'll keep looking. We've got to figure That's out what we're going to do for the last machine. one. That's the spy oh, gadget we've... vending machine. We've emptied the vending machine, apparently. Okay. Well, except for the um, this thing. All right, we'll Those grab this thing. Yep. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'd love to know where we actually are. 
sort of only been at the command center so far, haven't we? So they're like, oh no, that's good. They're still like the little, you know, your standard humongous game hot spots laid around the joint. That's good. All right, well, let's head Abby. So we're at the World's Fair. I'm not sure what's, uh... what's the name of the family from um, the vacation movies? The Griswolds. It kind of looks like their car. Oh, oh, that's that's kind of how you cook. That's a really hot bloody stove. Oh no, that steak looked. That's like the you know the cartoon steak that always looked nice. Okay. Um. Oh, that that noise though. That's some that's some freaky ASMR. It says World's Fair entrance. Okay, guess we'll enter the World's Fair then. Right, so we got. Are you happy here? with your job as a service guard? Oh yes, quite happy, thank you. Still, I like to immerse myself in the peaceful harmony of bungee jumping. Ooh, that sounds like a good thing. All right, um, I guess we can't go in unless we work here. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the problem? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. Oh, the bearer, but unfortunately, though. Oof. I cannot allow you to enter through the service entrance. I'm sorry, but I can only let waitresses with proper ID in today. <laughs> See, it has the job title of waitress and a matching photo. I seem to have lost my ID. Can you let me in without one? I feel your pain, sir. Really, I do. Unfortunately. Okay, so I guess we're gonna. I'll have to find a way to get the proper ID. Okay, um, I guess we're gonna be a waitress then. <laughs> no, so there's like, you know, a handy a free, free photo, photo booth next door. Just one of the many joyous pleasures in life. Okay, Let's see if we can make a ID of some sort. Um, the costume would be, waitress. yeah. Oh, perfect. Okay. Dentist. Mm. France. Arena. None. Dentist. Oh, what, um... France. Okay, let's say we're a French waitress then. Get a photo. I look ridiculous. Yes, certainly does. But yeah, there was some device back in the thing that let us um, make it into an ID. Right, let's go back there. Oh, that music though. The music's still been pretty good in these games, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this there was this little device. Cool looking device. What is it? One of those novelty gadgets that lets you see what you'll look like in 50 years? It's an ID maker. Of my own creation, of course. It's for making identification cards. Fascinating. How does it work? You place a photo in the photo slot, choose an occupation, and any name you like, then press the processed ID button. The completed <laughs> ID will pop out of the machine. Professor, you're amazing. What if I made an ID, forward. but then I change my mind and want to make a different one? Well, if you don't like the ID you created, you could make another card. Just reset the name and occupation. Insert a new photo, then press the process ID button again. That sounds like fun. Creating false ID cards is something only secret agents can do. And then only when Oh, we gotta have the little, right. little life lesson there. Don't make IRL fake IDs, because it's bad. Yeah, fair enough. Right. Excellent. The photo's in place. Right, so I think we're gonna change the job to waitress. Ballerina. Ballerina, okay. Band leader. Waitress. There we go. Maurice. Uh, what name Roscoe. are we gonna go under? Nancy. Muriel. Carlton. Ooh, ooh, tempting. Rudy. Um, Muriel seems Carl. like a good waitress name. Muriel. There we go. Pop out an ID for me. Professor Quack's machine works perfectly. My identification card is complete. Okay. Grab I that. expect that this will come in quite handy. I'm sure it will. All right, let's go. Let's go and see if it works. Because they only just specified waitress, didn't they? I think that's all that had to be on the um, on the ID. Let's just let's check and see if it worked. Ba -da -ba -ba. 
Here you are, sir. One waitress ID card. Oh, my. I'm so happy that you were able to find it. Let me guess. It was in your other pants, wasn't it? Why, yes, it was. You must be psychic. If you'll excuse me, I'm late for work and they need me in the restaurant. Oh, I understand. I won't keep you any longer. Oh, that I'll did just work. get your ID on file for you, Muriel. Keep up the good work. Have a oh, this cool it, day. um... And if I don't see you tomorrow... Yeah, guess the... Does the name you put in. Is that a, was that a sideways dumbwaiter? It's a little weird. Okay. Um, what? Why are the... What the hell is this meant to be? Okay, yeah, it's a heat lamp, but what's it cooking or what's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to question it. Let's talk to this strange lady. Perhaps you'd like bah. to share one of the many high points of your career as a chef. Well, I once swallowed a whole container of yeast. I guess that's one way to get a rise oh. out of the chef. Oh. oh, that's disgusting. What kind of cake would you bake for a baseball team? Why, a bunt cake, of course. Oh, no, yes, no. Yes, we're, we're getting out of here. I think she's meant to be spoofing um, Julia Childs, if I remember correctly. It's fun to put bad guys behind bars. Yeah, good, good to that. Oh, we got a little spy mouse working his way around. Yeah, okay. Guess I'll, um. Ah. It's... Oddly enough, the Venus flytrap is not a native of the rainforest. They actually are a native to the coast of North and South Carolina. This little fella is a long way from home. Oh, okay. Ah, Napoleon LaRoche. I should have known you'd taken up with the likes of Smelly. So Spycore has sent the famous spy fox to try and stop my plans for world domination. World domination? Er, uh, of course. Ha! Ah, since you are one of the few people who could possibly understand my genius, I will explain my entire plan to you in nauseating detail. <laughs> you see, I reversed the scale on the smelly evil dog bot assembly instruction. I've created a 1000 to 1 scale fully functioning evil dog bot. Just where do you think you can hide such a monstrosity? You silly spy. You're standing in it. Of course. You've disguised the evil dog bot as the centerpiece for the World's Fair. Hmm. Okay. Complete with a revolving restaurant. One has to eat, no? Observe. The means to my world domination. People buying tickets for the World's Fair do not realize that as they file through the turnstile, they are unwittingly winding the highly advanced clockwork mechanism oh, within what? the evil dog bot. When the one millionth person has filed through, the dog bot, now wound to maximum capacity, will embark upon its horrifying rampage. What happens if a million people don't go through oh. the turnstile, though? Hmm. This <laughs> 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 love when just models just randomly catch on fire. Unleash the dog bot. All the world's leaders will stir up and beg for mercy. It is unstoppable. It cannot be called off because it has no off switch. Yes, I have removed the off switch and hidden it somewhere in the world's fair. So cleverly, so subtly, that you will never find it. That's what you think, LaRoche. Even if you did find the off switch, you would still need the activation code to turn the switch off. And even if you had the off switch and the activation code, you could never hope to get past the diabolically clever security device located in the evil dog bot's Achilles heel, which is the only way into the dog bot's inner workings. It is hopeless, oh. Monsieur Le Fox. There's no way you can beat me! <laughs> okay, alright. You'll never get away with this, LaRoche. Oh, I think I will. And now, Monsieur Le Spy Fox, adieu! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a nice touch. <laughs> Just the stick with the finger on it. Yeah, I need me Judging one of them. By those monstrous metallic molars, I've been imprisoned in the dog bot's mouth. How humiliating! Huh. I must find a way out of this cell so I can stop that evil roach. If I could only reach that fire escape through these teeth. Yeah. I can gather information about La Roche with this talk balloon. <laughs> talk to the teeth. Hang on. Oh no, you need the... <laughs> so teeth, what do you think about La Roche? La Roche's goons didn't follow the assembly instructions close enough. 
They seem to have left a few gears missing out of this contraption. Ah, okay. Um, I wonder where this gear goes. This gear is too small. Too small. Bro, this one. This mechanism won't work right without all the missing gears in place. Oh, there's like other gears. Ah, uh, right, right. This crazy gear mechanism looks like it could be the key out of the jaws of the evil dogbot. I gotta put. I think this gear mechanism is important. It may be the means to my escape. So where else can I put gears then? Hang on. Can I take the gears out, or the did gears I? The gears in this cavity of the dogbot's tooth look like they may lead me to freedom, unless LaRoche knows a good dogbot dentist. It looks like a picture of an extension ladder. Yeah. Um. I bet one goes this, here. this gear is too big to go there. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, is that really all? This just too big, too small. That did the trick. Oh, well, that's straightforward. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, you always got to box that uvula. Just no, no items or anything. Oh, his harmonica is not working, apparently. Okay. Well, I guess it's like they say. The tooth shall set you free. Oof. I should have been ready for dad jokes. I'm I'm not yet ready for the dad jokes. Too early on a Talk Sunday. Talk about escaping by the skin of your teeth. Now to stop LaRoche and his evil plans for world domination. Okay, I... My I, spy I, watch oh, is beeping. I'd better pain. answer it. Please stand by. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless has intercepted a microfish message from Dottie Dash. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's coming from an exhibit called We World. We World, eh? Sounds silly. The message is staticky, and Walter silly. Wireless needs to get closer to hear it. You can pick him up here at the Mobile Command Center. By the way, I've recorded Napoleon LaRoche's evil plans, and I'm sending them to you via the Spy Watch. I look forward to hearing the dish. Monkey Penny, out. Oof, more terrible, more terrible dad jokes. I, I want to see what the fun button does this time. Things from space. Nothing like a game of things from space to get the old heart pumping. Yeah, let's, let's give it a try. Oh, it's just, um, just a shmup of some sort. Oh, that's cool. They, what's mixed in with it? Yeah, I always like when they do that with UI. And it's just, yeah. It's no tire in, but it'll do. Bear up, though. Look at that. Still love the music. The music's pretty appropriate for this. Oh, keep getting caught on the sides, though. Oh, these, though. Oh, the, um... One of those balloons. Yes. Some sort of wobbly balloon is a new weapon. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Delayed reaction. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it explodes when you do a second click. Or if it hits something. Yeah. Could have evolved. Yeah, alright. Can we quit though? Or do I have to... Oh, it's B for bonus. Okay, that's the thing. Yeah, level complete. Yeah, stop. Yeah, fair enough. No, I am intrigued by this fella with the pizza on a stick. Oh, we can't talk to them though. Can we? No, nope, they're just hanging out. So where can we go? We got some sort of DNA place, dinosaur park. Oh, some mischief. Fire. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go food library. Everything is on a stick here. Okay. So what brought about this whole food on a stick idea? Well, honey, did you ever randomly stick a stick in your food and think to yourself, I could make this into a profitable business? Not in a while. Huh. And can we just what choose? Uh, that ice cream's already I'm on not a stick. In the mood to eat right now. Oh, okay. All right. We'll come back here then. So yeah, the, the, it, I'm kind of intrigued by this World's Fair. Oh, oh, we we have cloning and therefore sheep. Yeah. Welcome to you clone it. Where you get two, two, two. The price of one. Stereo sheep. I did hear I about that. They were going to um. <clears throat> so nice to have you back where you. Yeah, belong. they were going to pull a Jurassic Park and try and resurrect the um, Tasmanian tiger with um, 
some stem cell DNA splicing. Mind if I ask you another question? You just did. Why ask another? Okay, so fruit plus DNA equals double fruit. Yeah. Okay. I got no idea what this does for for the moment. Oh yeah, we can ask about um, what's his face, LaRoche. Hang on. Let's see if we can get some dirt on the boy. Pardon me, can you give me any information about this Napoleon LaRoche? He's so mean. He makes medicine. <laughs> yes, I imagine he does. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, um, we have, that's a good looking, I know bits are falling off, but that is a good looking steam engine. Anyway. The amazing caped cod. Something okay. seems fishy. Cod, bear your soul. Oh, I'm sadder than an ant in the neck brace at a picnic. In the old days, it never failed. The Cape Cod would razzle and dazzle with his mighty cape of joy, and then the finale. A shot out of the cannon. Sounds exciting. Then, one fateful day, we were at a sea monkey convention and my assistants Goldie and Blow were setting up my act. My lucky clear goggles were misplaced, and in their stead was a pair of dark goggles. So what you're saying is that you need your lucky clear goggles? You ever try to steer yourself with dark goggles after you've been shot out of a cannon, son? Not lightly, no. Well, it's impossible to see the target. Isn't it the end of the cannon, hey, Todd, though? Can I borrow those dark goggles? You can't borrow these until I get my lucky clear goggles back. Well, oh. I need these for my act until then. Well, you're obviously not going to do the act, though, are you? Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is... Okay. Just a random bird hanging out. Ugh. These, all these birds are like really gross. Why are these birds so gross? Just, just diseased and flea ridden. That's... What's this? It looks like a pair of binoculars. Ah. Okay. Ah. Whatever that thing is, it's letting that bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. It looks like some kind of breath analyzer. There's too much of a rose tint on that screen to make out what breath it's showing. Ah, okay, so we gotta do something to the screen, presumably. Um. I see a breath analyzer, and now I see that it's letting the bad guy type with the glasses on into the evil dog bot's Achilles heel. But what yeah. breath is showing on that screen? I well, don't want to find that out yet. I want to see what else is at the fair. Just zoom in on stuff. And go... Yeah, it seems like there's all sorts of fun stuff going on. Like this Brando cat. Just feeding fish, presumably. Or the giant crocodile that's in the river. Okay. Okay, you can hold the button down. Hi. Right. Ooh. Just got a little remote control car going. <laughs> Bunny on a pogo stick. Yeah, right. Away. This looks like all sorts of fun. Just <laughs> random line butthole right there. Yeah. Okay. Seems to be uh, the only exciting hotspot around, though. Besides the uh, crocodile. Okay. Hmm. And we're just back here. Okay. Anything else exciting above? No, it's just the um, the dog leg. Oh, oh, fucking <laughs> chicken snow! Get away from that chicken! Get away from these fucking dirty birds, though. Creepy looking things. All right. Well, I guess yeah, we're obviously gonna have to collect a lot more uh, stuff before we can do what we're meant to be doing. What else we got? Okay, so this is the... Oh, that's the pathway to the two dog. Okay. Gonna have a look up here for a sec. Oh, this uh, looks a bit is little different. Is this Platt World? Correct, my dear. I am Madam Ladybug, the slightly irritated owner of Plant World. 
Instead of the beauteous red rose I ordered, I have been sent a mutant Venus flytrap by Napoleon LaRoche. Nice cage, though. A locked cage for which I have no combination. Oh, and it's got the off switch. It all, this particular Venus flytrap has something in its mouth. Interesting. It's the off switch. How diabolical of a roach to feed it to a mutant Venus flytrap. I've got to get it out of there and find a rose for the ladybug. No small feat. Yeah. Oh, okay. We I can use this talk now. balloon to gather information about getting a rose for Madam Ladybug. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's uh. Well, we got something out of that at least. Let's go this way. Let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Um, was this a sea mine or something? It oh no, it's a fair. world's fair. Sitting here going, is that? Yeah, yeah. It kind of looked like a sea mine. Oh, this guy's got some roses. May have your roses. Those are really nice roses. Thanks. I throw them to ice skaters who do a perfect triple greasy axle. Ah, oh, okay. I can gather information about the triple greasy axle ice skating move with this talk balloon. Ah, okay. Presumably we have to learn the greasy axle at some point. Can, we, can you stop flashing your bits, Pete? Jeez. It's right. the 1974 Golden Melon Skates Trophy for best sneeze during a performance. Hmm. Okay. That doesn't seem to be, um... Guess we just gotta, yeah, collect all our... Oh, oh, we got a Scotty Dog. And Wee World. I, I kind of won't see what Wee World entails, like. Hmm. Okay, let's talk to What's Scotty Dog. What's the worst part of this job? The uniforms make me look like a security guard. But you are a security guard. Oh, yeah. What? What's the best part of this job? I don't know. I never give it much thought. Thinking hurts the brain, laddie. I think I understand. I can't get in. The door is locked. Okay. Hey, hands off those keys. Those keys are to all the exhibits at the fair. No one can touch them but me. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know what Here's key I'm meant to be photographing, but let's, let's try this thing here. I wonder which key I should take a picture of. Let's try three. Key three. Hang on, do I, um... Oh yeah, I gotta put it in an oven somewhere, don't I? To yeah, we can find that uh, kitchen ag again, I suppose. Went to the ice rink. Oh, stand this way. Oh, <laughs> you're right there, buddy. Did you know you could rearrange the letters in souvenir and make the word sour vine? No, I never thought of that. I'm just. Can we leave? Hold up there, sir. You have a stamp on your hand? No, I can't say that I do. I better stamp your hand so you can get back into the fair. Yeah, cheers, buddy. Oh, that's a big stand. Have a nice day. Thank you. Right, so it was... Oh, yeah, we can go back through the service entrance again. All right, well, let's go to that oven. Right in, Muriel. <laughs> right, um... Well, here's an oven. Let's, uh, let's make a key, shall we? May I please use your oven? Sorry? Only a trained chef can operate that oven, and I'm afraid you don't look anything like a chef. Oh, what? Um, how do we become Are chef, there then? Are great moments in your career that really stand out? Well, I remember the time I fell into the colander. And what happened when you fell into the colander? I strained myself. Come to the kitchen with time. Oh, dear. <laughs> um, no, nah, all right. Ready. Yeah, all right. I'm just confused as to how we're going to become a trained chef, or at least look like one. Maybe we just need a chef's hat. I don't know. Um. Oh no, we should be asking people about all the um, LaRoche and the like, shouldn't you know we? Know anything about triple greasy axles? I tried ice skating once, but I tripped on my neck. Had to go to one of those relaxation stations to get myself fixed up. Well, thanks anyway. Hmm. All right. What do you know about LaRoche? So what do you know about LaRoche? That LaRoche sure has found an interest in strange plant experiments. 
I think he enjoys it so much because he can insult the plants and trees in plant world without them talking back to him. <laughs> I wonder yeah. if LaRoche ever insulted a weeping willow. I guess it would be hard to tell. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's, um... Yeah, who would know about, you know, ice skating? What can you tell me about Napoleon LaRoche? Strange little fella. He loves that plant world. He didn't want to wait for me to let him in here. Imagine that. I'd rather not, laddie. I don't have much of an imagination. Oh, okay. So presumably if we got a Scotty dog as a security guard, we world would be filled with small things. What do things. you know about the ice skating move known as the triple greasy axle? Yeah. Skating? I've got no time to ice skate, laddie. I've been keeping we world safe from harm. I hear there's an ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear, working at the fair. Maybe you can talk to her. The masked she-bear. Okay. Well, that's the lead at least. All right. Um, gotta figure out where else. So we got a museum here of some sort. Or the museum. Oh, some sort of temperature thing and a rando bird. What do you like to do in your spare time? Likes watching the hardening of gelatin. Dislikes when the temperature goes over 80 degrees. Oh, okay. Um, what can you tell me about La Roche? What can you tell can me see about a chef's Napoleon uniform in there. He loves the plant world. The temperature is always warm there. Yes, some like it hot. Hmm, okay. Oh, no, didn't click on that right. What do you know about the skating move known as the triple greasy axle? I don't know anything about that. I hear the ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear, is working at the fair, though. She would know. Thanks. Okay, so we got to find the masked she-bear. That's quite a thermometer. Yes, I have to keep a very keen eye on it. If it goes above 80 degrees, the wax figures will start to melt. Then I'll have to run to the phone to call the air conditioning repair place. They put me on hold for hours. It's terribly boring. I hmm. can't imagine. Okay. So that's... Hey, you! You cannot go in! The Wax Museum is not open yet! Would you believe me if I told you that I had my own television show on public access called Entering the Wax Museum? What? Yes, but you may not go in! And don't stand in front of that thermometer! I have to keep a close eye on it! Alright, so I guess we need something to raise the temperature in here, which I don't Here's think we I have. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Oh. Yeah, we got the ice skates, the alarm deactivator, the code thing, and the terminite grenade, so yeah. Can't really use anything there. Um, I guess we can head across to the underside of the dog carriage thingy. Um, hmm. Oh, he slept behind hmm. his bad glasses. Guy put on those glasses, breathed on that breath device, and the secret door opened. That must be the secret door La Roche mentioned that leads to the inner workings of the evil dogbot. I need to figure out how to get in there. Yeah, well, let's just grab the glasses first. <clears throat> he had to walk These all the way back to him? glasses okay. might come in handy. Right. So we can at least see what's on the screen. That won't do me any good. Oh, maybe we have to look at it from up on the thing. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Maybe put the glasses on the telescope. All right. Well, we'll go back up to the thing, I guess. I'd better answer my spy watch. Oh, Will you stand by. Spy thought. An informant has a hot tip about the off switch and is waiting for you at the Food of the Future exhibit. Ask for the candy apple. The candy apple. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. Monkey Penny signing off. All right. Spy Fox out. Cool. Let's go ask for a candy apple then. Apples have always been associated with wisdom. Don't you like the way they go crunchy crunch? Anything else? I like the way they go crunchy crunch. Hmm. So that's my contact, eh? Brilliant disguise. I'd like a candied apple, please. Certainly, sir. Here at Food of the Future, all food is on stick. 
It allows you to enjoy your favorite foods without using a knife or fork or having to stop what you're doing. Here you go, a free candied apple on a stick sample. Well, I have the candied apple. Isn't that just grand? Yes, but I, meaning me, have in my possession the candied apple. Only one candied apple sample per customer. Now run along and enjoy the fair, Pumpkin. Maybe she wants me to come back when there are less people around. Oh, well, this candied apple looks good. Watch what you're doing. <laughs> you want to give me a coronary? Ah, Lenny, you're the apple of my eye. What information do you have for me? Hi, Spy Fox. Listen close. <laughs> There are spies everywhere, so don't look directly at me. This leaf contains the information that you need. This is too small to read. What do you want from me? I wrote it with my teeth. Now I got the split. People are starting to stare. Throw me in the dumpster. Suit yourself. Oh! I'm all right. Save yourself. Yeah, fair enough. Right, so we obviously need something to, um... Oh no, there was the actual magnifying thing in the plant world, wasn't there? Alright. Um, so we're gonna go... Oh yeah, we can ask about the, um... LaRoche and the... What can you tell thing me about well. Napoleon LaRoche? He spends all of his time with his plants. He should be watching your act. He doesn't have proper audience etiquette. Hmm, okay. Card, what do you know about the ice skating move known as the Triple Greasy Axle? Like I said before, if you were listening, the ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear who works at well, the I didn't fair, ask you, I asked someone else. Like that, son. Oh, right. You did mention that before. Oh, yes you did. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to watch the video back and work out if he did or not. <laughs> yeah, oh, these birds again. Fuck off, bird. So can we... I guess we can put the... If I want to see the fair with a rosy glow, I need to put the glasses on first. Oh, okay. Let's... Everything looks rosy behind a pair of rose-tinted glasses. Alright. So now we should be able to see what's going on here. Oh, once a henchman comes through. Who's... Presumably coming at some point. There we go. I can see that goon breathing into the analyzer. Something's appearing on screen. It looks like pickle pot pie. That breath analyzer is checking for the aroma of pickle pot pie. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. I just need to eat some pickle pot pie and breathe into that breath analyzer and then I'll be able to get in that evil dog bot. Yeah, all right, fair enough. I can use oh, now this we gotta ask everyone to about pickle pot pie. About the breath analyzer food, pickle pot pie. Hmm. I, I I don't think I'd enjoy that if I'm being honest. I've had I've been having cheeseburger pies lately, which does have pickle in it, but also has you know like the other good parts of cheeseburger in it too. Um. Okay. Let's ask about pickle pot pie then. Can we put it on a stick is the question. Do you have any pickle pot pie here? Nothing like that here. Only food on stick. You should try the Chateau La Roche restaurant. Try a restaurant, hmm? Ah, uh, righto. Good go. Talk to the Julia Childs cow thingy. Okay. Um, yeah, all right, so we can do, do this code. We'll go do that. Um, I can't remember if we asked her about the, um, the roach and the other What do you know about the ice skating move known as the triple greasy axle? I know nothing of skating. Have you asked the ex-skating champion, the masked she-bear? She's said to be working at the fair somewhere. Will she give me a demonstration? Perhaps, if you ask nicely. Hmm, okay. Um, all right, well, let's decipher this thing. I can see a star, a circle, and a triangle on this leaf. Okay. Star, circle, hmm. triangle, then. It's some kind of combination lock for this display cage. All right, 
Star, circle, and triangle. I did it. Yeah, easy enough. I would yeah. really love to put a rose in that display cage. You object to the mutant Venus flytrap plant? Of course I do. They eat insects, you know. Hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So we do have to get her a rose still. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we haven't found much in the way of um, wood-related stuff yet, have we? Guess we'll um. Yeah, like I've got nothing to use the uh, the termite grenade on. We might need it later though. All right, we'll head out. We'll go to the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Go right in, Muriel. So yeah, we might need some. We'll probably need items if we want to make the pick a pot pie. Let's let us ask. <laughs> Can you prepare pickle pot pie? Why, I won the French cooking medal of honor for my pickle pot pie. Well, of course I can make it. Well, that is, I could make it. But I only have what do you one want? pickle right now. Can't you make it with the one pickle you do have? Absolutely not. Good pickle pot pie must be made with exactly two pickles. Jeez, yeah, I wonder where this goes. This one, and if you can find another exactly like it. I'd be more than happy to make you some pickle pot pie. <laughs> well, this is the thumbnail for the video, just brandishing Thanks, the Jeff. pickle. Two pickles, eh? I'll get those for you on the double. Okay. <laughs> just pickle in my pocket. Yep. All Here's right. where I keep my spy gadgets. Hmm. Oh, the kitchen with. Right. Um, so we'll go clone our pickle. Because that's what you do with pickles. You gonna you gonna go in, for Spy Fox? Um. Oh, is that? Hang on. I know she's not masked, but that was a bear of some description. We go over to. Oh, we can go here. Okay. Hello. Ah. Um. Have you been giving massages for very long? Most of them are pretty short. That's good. Ouch. This isn't really a massage, so that was that was really weird. Why is this so weird? After that, you should feel like a whole new person. Fair enough. All right. Yes. What do you know of the triple axel? What do you know about the triple greasy axel ice skating move? You look tense. Let me give you a massage. I tell you, kiddo, I did the triple greasy axle as the masked she bear. In fact, that skating move is fully illustrated in the latest edition of the bi monthly magazine Skaters Weekly in a color diagram and everything. Color diagram? May I have that? It's all yours, sweetie. Thanks. Hmm. All right. Well, that was straightforward. Will you get to, like, read up on that? That or? won't do me any good. Uh, I guess we're going to use it on the skater rink. Okay. We'll go do this. Do we use it here, that or...? That won't do me any good. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Amazing! Professor Quack's spy skates feel like they were made for me. Oh, that's right. They were. Yes. And uh, do we just punch in the... So what do we do with the thing? This should oh. do the trick. Just click it on ourselves. Yeah, alright. Now we can do the, do the move. Oh, jeez. That kind of looked painful. Anyway. Come on, bitch, where's my rose? I was so good I burned the skates out. Oh well, I don't need them anymore. <laughs> you did it, kid! I haven't seen a move like that since Sonya Henpeck. Thank you. What a perfect red rose. Hmm. 
Okay. Good stuff. You have pickle and a rose. Right. Um. Oh yeah, we got to duplicate the pickle still. Go duplicate the pickle. I don't think I'll ever get tired of saying duplicate the pickle. It's a good way to good thing to say. Right. It's saying we need some sort of DNA though, but let's see if it'll work. You clone it? You got it. Like anyone full item on the path. Press the button. And one becomes two. Two from one. Glad I asked. I have this pickle. Don't come running to us with your troubles. I think he wants us to quote it, doll. Very well, late. You do the honors. No. After you, I insist. No, please. After you. I'll do it. Don't touch that. Isn't that amazing? Yes, but does it do julienne fries? You can always tell what a customer is not going to buy, Lee. You speak the truth, doll. Oh, doll and Lee. Yeah, right. -o. I get it. I get it, because I'm old. I remember when they cloned Jolly the Sheep. Yes. Um, okay, so double pickles. We got the rose. Go give rose to, um, Ladybug Lady. Here you go. Here's your rose. Madame, would this rose be suitable? Oh, thank you, sir. I'll just replace that atrocious flytrap with his beauteous rose. Nicely done. I can dispose of that flytrap for you. How polite. Obviously, you're a fox with home training. Yes, I am housebroken, thank you. Hmm. Alright. How, how do we sort out the Venus flytrap, though? I guess we gotta put it on some uh, insects or something. Um, there's obviously more that, that we can do. Um, I guess we can go and just make the pickle pot pie and just trying to figure out how we get into the, um, yeah, get the temperature up at the museum. Go right in, Muriel. Sure, sure, sure. Right, well, here are your, here are your double pickles, madame. Here you are, two big juicy pickles. Wonderful! How exciting that you should find two so identical. They appear to be exactly alike. Perhaps they're related. <laughs> Is that a... Kafka's pickle pot pie fixins? Yeah, right, eh? The secret to gourmet cooking is careful mixing of only the finest ingredients. Hopefully, we'll have the opportunity to try that one of these days. Voila! <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh. Yeah, My right. breath should now be potent enough to get me past that electronic sniffer and into the secret workings of the giant robot dog. All right, presumably we've got you know, more to do. Oh, could we? That won't do me any good. Yeah, that's not going to do much. We just kind of—it's a wonder he's not throwing us back in, um, you know, dog jail from hanging out here. There's probably a reason we can hang out here, though. Uh, oh, hang on. Can we... No, we apparently can't do anything with the heat lamps, even though we need some of the heat. Anyway. Yeah, so we definitely need the... Um... I haven't really found anything made of wood, though. Can't use... What else we got gadgets-wise? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. The alarm deactivator. Maybe there's something else we can pick up at the museum itself? Um... We sort of asked about... Yeah, we've kind of used up our options there. Do 
you ever think about how many candles you could make if you melted the wax figures? Don't even joke about that. This is my profession you're talking about. That won't do me any good. Yeah, apparently it won't. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing Once I can really... Once I get that activation code, I'll be able to turn that dog bot to good instead of evil. I wonder if we can Mon get a hint from Money Penny. Monkey by. Penny, I should say. Spy Fox, Agent Walter Wireless is still here at the mobile command center waiting for you. Oh, right. He's intercepted a microfish message from informant Dotty Dash. Right. The message was staticky, and Walter Wireless needs to get closer to Wii World to hear it. Roger, and out. Oh, so we go back to base and sort that out? Yeah, alright, we'll go pick up Walter Wireless then. Um, yeah, we still need goggles for uh, the Cape Cod too, don't we? I guess I haven't found another um, location as of yet. There doesn't seem to be. There's nothing else going this way. Spy Fox, I've been waiting for you. Smelly is up to their usual bag of dirty tricks, I see. Walter Wireless, Spy Corps' top tracking bot. Good to be working with you again, Walt. Uh, you too, Spy Fox. The last time I ended up with a fever from being cat scratched. Right. Sorry about that. So, you picked up a microfish message from Dotty Dash. That's right, but all I could make out was something regarding an off switch activation code before the signal went dead. I've got to find Dotty Dash, Spy Fox. This must be important. The signal was traced to an exhibit in the fair called Wee World. Wee World, eh? Sounds like your kind of place. Well, hop aboard, Walter, and I'll get you into this Wee World. I'm in there like swimwear. Heck, <laughs> that's my line. Okay, so we picked up our thing. We didn't have any other... Yeah, there wasn't any more gadgets in the thing, was there? We seem to have gotten them all. Oh, no, canned heat. Yeah, we'll use that. Spy heat. This looks like some hot work. How does this gadget work, Professor Quack? Now, this gadget, I'm really proud of. You can spray it on something, say, like a thermometer, and watch the temperature rise right. <laughs> Gotta make the your obvious eyes. example now, of the thermometer, don't that they? Really rises to the occasion. You oh, can say that, that solves again. the puzzle at oh, least. All right. Now that's a gadget that really rises to the occasion. Hmm. Light on the palate, rough on the tummy. Okay. Yeah, I guess we had to use an item to um, get this one back, but that's all right. We'll go use our canned heat. Um, yeah, we can just walk through the front entrance. Doot, doot, doot. Um, and we're off to the museum. All right. Um, oh, it's in the gadgets. Okay, give that a quick spray. Just watch this spy heat the joint up with a demo of his spy heat. Oh, so hot it Excuse actually. Me, Holy but shit. The temperature has gone up well over 80 degrees. Oh no! I must call the air conditioning repair place. Oh dear, I'll be on hold for hours. Oh good. Can I have some of your coffee? Spy heat certainly was the hot ticket. Certainly was. Yeah, alright, can't actually do anything there. We'll go and um presuming there's like an alarm here somewhere. Right, so we need Wolfgang the chef's outfit. Duck, an innovative chef known for his imaginative pairings of fresh local ingredients with his own version of what's tasty today. I like to cook, and I'm an imaginative fox. A chef outfit just might come in handy. Oh, we didn't need to even activate, deactivate an alarm or anything. That's helpful. What? Oh, it's... <laughs> why is there a... The thing just says we. Oh, well. Um, what were the other outfits? These, these are all strange outfits. Let's, let's leave here. They're all, they're all really weird. 
Right, um, so yep, we got what we needed. Head back to Julia Child's knockoff. Um, I don't know if we Go have right to. In, Muriel. Don't know if we have to put on the chef's outfit outside or just in here. Oh well, I guess I suppose our back's turned. We can probably just do it in here. All right, put on here. Hello, I am a trained chef. May I use your? Uh... Here's where I can. Ahem. Oh, excuse me, I didn't see you come in, Chef Wolfgang. What a pleasant surprise. Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought to myself, my, it has been a long time since I last prepared food inside a giant mechanical dock. Yes, well, of course, as a fellow master chef, you are welcome to make use of my kitchen. That's very generous of you. I believe I... But you may not use my wooden spoons. The purple ones, they are mine and I need them. Of course, how foolish of me. You know, of course, that too many master chefs spoil the broth. Chef Dinah, I can honestly say that compared to you, I am merely an imposter. Oh, Wolfgang. You are such a kidder. Okay, that was you not exchange. Too kind. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Wait, can we just bake this fucking key now? I have to admit that at first I thought Professor Quack's idea for a spy camera was half-baked, but it turns out to be pretty hot stuff. Woof. Anyway, apparently we hopefully have the key we need I'll to um, get in the wee world. Just in case I need it later. That's some. Yeah, I, I'm presuming this is a sideways dumbwaiter of some sort. Or maybe it goes into the robot dog somehow. No, I'm, 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 I'm a little confused on that. Anyway. Back to Wii World, and hopefully this key will work. Let's give it a try. Where do you think you're going? That exhibit is closed. It's all right. I have a key. Oh, well. If you've got a key, then go right in. Ah, Beautiful. the right key. Excellent. See, I told you I had a key. <laughs> Bye, sucker. Ah, so there's... Other... Not much in here seems like it... It's weird at all. It's weird. It says exit. This is some sort of alarm though. I should probably watch out for that. <laughs> this opening is too small to get through. It'll take someone much smaller than myself to get through. Yeah, nice of you to show that you can't fit in there by just shoving your face in it. Fair enough. There you go, Walter. You've got to find Donnie Dash, the microfish. You can count on me, Spy Park. Oh, it's, it's Michael Fitz because he's a fish. Oh, dear. That's terrible. Um. I probably would have. Maybe, maybe do it while you're standing in it. Stupid bug. Jump this in the thing first. This car is my ticket to the dream house. Good. This is the only way to travel. There we go. Ah, it's a cute little house. And oh, there's some sort of puzzle here. Um I remember there was something like this in Starship Titanic as well. Yeah, you gotta like move the furniture to unlock other things. So what do we got? Move the TV, I guess. Or this is Walter Wireless reporting from Wii World. Yeah, great. Ooh. Some funky ass furniture. 
And what's... Yeah, I can't really find many hotspots though. It's legit like the only hotspot I can really click on. Oh, we can press well, the, now, the buttons. Are starting to look up. Ah, okay. Down is only half of the elevator's job. Yeah, right. This just in, design flaw discovered in Dreamhouse. Okay, so we're going to get rid of the TV first. What a shocking waste of valuable attic space. Yeah. All right, that I've gets I've been told the... that it's impolite to stare, but in this case, I'll make an exception. I'll probably have to put the elevator up as well. This button operates the elevator. Oh, we got uh, buttons upstairs. Okay, so we can go up. Doink, doink, doink. Yeah. The refrigerator is now in cold storage. Yeah. This button opened that door. Cool. All right. My instinct tells me I'm getting closer to Dotty Dash's location. Oh, okay. And that gets us across. What uh, what else we got here? And the seventy-four million dollar question is, who invented the retractable TV? Hmm, that is a good question. This button opens and closes the bottom drawer. Okay, can we get over doing I must that? Just remember to check with Quack about a pair of spy top sneakers. Spy top sneakers, you say? Okay. This is Walter Wireless reporting from WeWorld. So what are we... I can open and close the top drawer with this button, but will it sort my socks? Can we get over though? Close, but no banana. How about with the bottom drawer? Typically, I oh, would there open we go. and close the drawer by hand. Calm, cool thinking pays off. Film at 11. I don't know who he's meant to be spoofing either. Oh, yeah. Around and around and down. This is Walter Wireless. Okay, let's get rid of, rid of, get rid of that. Can we just go through. Yeah, Walter, he's done. I'm glad you found me. I've been on surveillance here in WeWorld, searching the airwaves for anything suspicious. I intercepted a smelly message that has to do with some activation code. My equipment went on a fritz before I could get the whole message to your spy corps, but I think it's really important. I'm sure it is, but if it was a radio message, how do you know it smelled bad? Not smelly. Smelly. The Society for Meaningless Evil Larceny... Yep, they're going to keep doing it. I told you. All right. Our evil nemesis. Yep. Don't so need the full fall break the there, dude. I need to transmit it to Spy Fox right away. Of course. The activation code is pineapple, grape, orange. Got it. Walter Wireless calling Spy pineapple, Fox. Pineapple, grape, orange. you stand orange. by? Oh. Come in, Spy Fox. I read you loud and clear, Walter. Did you find Dottie Dash? I did. I'm going to transmit the activation code Dottie intercepted to you via the Spy Watch. Stay tuned. Pineapple, grape, orange. I've got it, Walt. Good job, Dottie. Thanks, Spy Fox. All right, the so you now. now we should have everything we need to get this in the, the dog. Signing off. I've got the off switch activation code. Now that LaRoche is in for it. Yeah, all right. Cool. Oh, meanwhile. Yeah, I don't think that's getting to a million anytime soon. I have waited life for over 12 hours to ride the ride. Famous for its raceries of the past. A clean field adventure. It was the highlight of the fair. Then it refused to let me on because I was not tall enough to go to the turnstile. I just realized who the um the voice of LaRoche is meant to be spoofing. It's meant to be um Herve Villa Chase, the the dwarf fella from um I was your own fantasy island and um the the Bond movie. Um Man with a Golden Gun. That's the one I was thinking of. I can't remember if it was Herve or Herve. But yeah, you had that sort of, you know, yeah, the boss, the plane, the plane, that way, that guy. Mm -hmm. 
Right, um, so now we can, I presume we can just get in dog now. We have breath of, um, pickle pot pie. Got the code. And got the off switch. I don't know if we have to do anything with the Venus flytrap, but I guess we'll find out. Ah, oh, you know breath that. accepted. Pickle pot pie did the trick. Now I can come and go as I please. I don't wonder you're not burping that whole thing up. Like, yeah, pickles always make me burp. La Roche's breath analyzer was no match for a clever international spy like me. I must be in the belly of La Roche's evil beast. I should have a look around. Why is it full of sludge, though? Look at them. The fools are unaware that by simply entering the fair, they are making possible my plans for world domination. As they enter the fair, they pass through a turnstile, which rotates a series of gears beneath the admissions gate. Can you just get someone to line this up for you? Ramp, you have minions. Excuse a lot of minions. Spinning the drive shaft, which turn, yet more gears that wind up the massive spring that will power my unstoppable evil dog bot. When the one million tourists come through the turnstile, my evil dog bot will be completely wound. And then I will unleash the dog bot on the unsuspecting yeah. well, world. Well, if you got it on like a, a, a gear wheel, it's only Eddie. gonna. <laughs> can only well, wind it up so far. One. Anyway. Um, oh, we can go a few different ways here from the looks of things. Oh, um, let's get away from that immediately. <laughs> it's freaky ass sock puppet. Alright, so this is, uh... This is hmm, the opening and closing of that door must be controlled by some sort of fingerprint recognition device. I wonder what would happen if... Yeah, maybe... Yeah, we're not going to be on file. A picture of La Roche. Hmm. Uh, okay, so we've got to go back and somehow get La Roche's fingerprints. Okay. Oh! It's... I'll bet if I want to get into that room, I'll have to find a way to get a copy of La Roche's fingerprint. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's, let's continue to explore the inside of Dog, shall we? Oh no, no. Oh, that's the, I'm presuming this is how we get rid of the um the Venus flytrap on the on the button. Hmm. This button controls feeding time for those mutant Venus flytraps. I wouldn't want to be in the same room with them while they eat. Uh -huh. Oh, little I heard someone say, walk into the light. I have to find a way to shield my eyes. Okay, so we got to find some um, clear goggles, swap them with the dark goggles. This boy's got some goggles. Hello there. Oh, can we just sneak up and snag him? I wonder if I can get that welder to stay at the conveyor belt longer so I can get those goggles. Okay, okay. So what's the um Here's where I keep my spy gadget. No, nah, we haven't really got anything um anything to help with that. Oh, oh, that's those those balloons are terrifying. Oh no. Right, um maybe there's something we need if we just continue on. But yeah, we definitely want Z goggles. Oh, we can just Ah. Yeah, righto. Yeah, random mice. Um, all right. I can't go over there while the guard is watching. The guard is watching, so I'd better wait. Okay, when's uh? I can't go over there while the guard is watching. Now we go. Okay, we just had to wait for the right time. Hmm, that makes the conveyor belt go faster. Yes, yes, it does. Right. That'll, that'll keep Mr. Crocodile out of trouble. We can go get his goggles. 
I have the garbage. Uh, still that blowtorch though? No, can't have a blowtorch. Alright. So you gotta exit dog. Give thing a goggles. Get other goggles. Yeah, alright, alright. Oh yeah, we gotta get fingerprints off uh, La Roche as well, don't we? Alright. No, we got we still got a little bit to do. Um let's uh let's work our way to doing that. Um Oh yeah, uh, where I, I think he was this way. Yes, there we go. All right, so we can get some dark goggles. All right, here you go. Here's no, go and click on the goggles. There we go. I believe these are yours, Kate's card. My lucky goggles! I can't believe my eyes. How are we doing on time? Hey. Uh, all right on time. Everything sure smells a lot different with these on. You mean Why? it looks a lot different, don't you? No, smells a lot different. Where'd you find these? Sorry, they've been in my pocket for a while. <laughs> Glad to see that. Can I borrow well? your dark goggles, caped cod? Heck, son, you can have them. I don't need them anymore. Best not to use them for flying out of a cannon, though. Thanks, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I guess we need to uh, go get some fingerprints. Um, don't know how the hell we're going to do that, though. Um, actually I might do that. We may have to get fingerprints rather than using a gadget, we might have to use a food on a stick of some sort. Um, just ask about La Roche here. Ooh, that cheese on a stick looks what pretty fucking good though. What can you tell me about Napoleon La Roche? All he talked about was the botanical exhibit he was about to see at Plant World. Probably because the plants are shorter than he is. Oh, okay, we sort of had that conversation, didn't we? Uh, maybe we can prepare him something at the kitchen to, um, like wear the chef's disguise. I'm thinking we're going along that line. We'll just see if we can get more spy gadgets from the, um, the van first. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the spy gadget vending machine. Um, yep, got that, got that. Mm -hmm. Ah, here we go. The fingerprint replicator utensil kit. How does this work, Professor Quack? You'll eat this one up, Spy Fox. You place the fingerprint sending fork device on your target's plate. Then, when they pick it up to start eating, their fingerprint will show up on the fingerprint receiving spoon device. This is hands down one of your best spy gadgets yet, Professor Quack. I hope to follow it up with a matching salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> Maybe if I mix these with a little goat's milk. Nah, let's not go there. Yeah, yeah, that sounds That's a little gross. The fingerprint replicator utensil. Actually, kit. no, I don't mind goat's goat cheese. A little like. What's the one I'm thinking of? Halloumi or something? Havati cheese? Yeah, it was like a solid one that like you can that's got a really high melting point, so it's cool to fry. The stealth vac. How does it work? You just hook up the handy nozzle, then press vacuum to suck up the particles into the handy travel bag. Or press reverse vac to blow the particles housed in the travel bag back out through the nozzle attachment. And it does it all in perfect silence. Huh. Ingenious, Professor Quack. Well, that's, uh, that sounds really useful. I'd prefer those between two slices of bread, but when duty calls... Hmm, okay. That's the stealth vac. Yep, yeah. grab, grab that for me. Beautiful. And we're chockers on gadgets again, all right. 
So hopefully this should be all I need to finish the game. Just don't know what I need to do with um, LaRoche. Go right in, Muriel. Maybe put on a chef's uniform and go out and see him, see what, I, what he wants to eat. Oh gracious me! Oh, oh my! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh. Served. Excuse me, what's the matter? I don't have a single fork for Mr. LaRoche's dinner, and he gets so surly when he has to wait for his food. Well, you know the old saying, surly to bed and surly to rise. Oof. Ah, that's LaRoche's dinner? Yes, spit roasted boot bernays. Don't tell me, the sauce isn't... Oh, yes it is. Ugh. I think I'm going to be sick. Now where are all those forks? Alright, um, well we'll go put a fork in it, that will indicate that it's are. done. It so happens I carry a fork for just this kind of situation. A fork? I've been looking all over for one. I learned in boot camp it pays to have a fork at all times. Thank you. I better get this spit roasted boot bernays out to Napoleon the Roach before he starts acting like a hero. Oh, we didn't actually have to go it's out for that. It's a matter of time now before I have LaRoche's prints. <laughs> Spit roasted boot bernays, my favorite dish. It's not going to work if he's got gloves on, though, is it? And that's just what I'll do. Pretty soon that boot is going to be inside of you. Oh, no. Guess that works. Now I'm almost ready to give LaRoche the boot. And I don't mean for dinner. Yeah, great. A little tough, but still good. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Gross. Right. Go ahead. Now. Gadgets. Let's let's go back inside. Dog. I do like that he kept the um the costume on, even though we didn't need to go out. He just still wore it. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Through again. Yeah, what was that show that the guy that um, did Rocco's One Life worked on, Camp Laszlo? The chicken guy kind of reminds me of someone from that. Right, back through the... back through dog. Right, so you go a couple of places. Um, presumably we have to do something here too. Actually, we might, yeah, might actually go sort out the on switch first without new goggles, because I think that's that seems to be the, to the central thingy. Right. Um, so use goggles. Just use them on ourselves or the door. Ourselves, apparently. UV okay. rating 750. These should show me the light in a good way. Cool. The light is bright, but this spy is brighter. Mm, well, ah, it's just a moth. That's a little, little freaky. Okay. Oh, we even have the perfect spot to leave Venus flytrap. Beautiful. That looks just like the perfect place to set this mutant Venus flytrap. All right. Then here we uh, do. We have to put the goggles back on again. Interesting. Oh, he's just going to do it for us anyway. Cool. Okay. Push the button. Push button. Receive on-off button. That mutant Venus flytrap prefers to eat flies instead of off switches for giant evil dog bots. Yeah, good stuff. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Whoa! 
Ready Road, how you doing? Let's go to the Venus flytrap, indeed. Alright, so I think we're, we must be close to, yeah, we're getting pretty close to finishing this. We got all the items we need to deactivate dog. Then we're going to go on to, you don't know Jack Volume 2. A sophisticated machine of menace will sophisticated the earth and I mean, it seems silly to, like, you've obviously got a Napoleon complex, like, why dress up as Napoleon? Anyway. Um, so we went through that door, I think we can use the fingerprint on the scanner now. Right, back up here. We are certainly spy foxing. Let's... Right, um, so we've got a spoon... Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Right. Let's give this a try, shall we? Okay, we got the you you succeeded music. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like the old song says, a spoonful of LaRoche's fingerprint helps the steel door go down. Aha, here we go. Right, so we got the activation code, which it's was... It's the off code for the evil dog bot. Pineapple grape orange. Pineapple grape orange. That must be where I need to set the off switch activation code. Right. No, that's an apple. Right. Orange. That must be the on switch for the evil dog bot. Oh, we don't want to turn it on, do we? We want to turn it off. So let's insert the off switch. All right. At last, the off switch is in its place and the activation code is set correctly. Oh no. Somehow I got a million people through the um, Fruit of the World's Fair. Finally, the one million customer has come to the turnstile. The dog bot is now fully operational. Let's hit it! I don't think this is a good sign. I wanna, I wanna push that button, Spy Fox. <laughs> Do not put in mouth. I hope La Roach has earthquake insurance. Oh, so are we on a time limit now? Um, I actually don't seem to have time to actually go hit that off switch. Get to the off switch. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Bad dog bot. Sit. Turns out I didn't have to do anything. Good. <laughs> I like his setup to control the dog, though. You called? LaRoche, your evil days are over. I don't think so. Son has not yet met. <laughs> Follows him on the tiny scooter thingy. I should go in after him. Oh, I'm meant to be going in after him. Okay. Oh, we have an, another puzzle left to do. Okay. I wonder what he's up to now. That spy fox thinks he's so smart. I have one more trick to play before I make my escape through these sewer pipes. This computer program will set up a million toasters hidden in the dog box. What? Simultaneously burn a Why is it filled with toasters? Leaving a dark gray cloud hanging over the fire for the next ten months. Much like Seattle. Okay. Oh no! There's a bug in the program! Ah! I must check my variables and try <laughs> Do you want to throw a hissy fit, fit now? That yes. Dastardly LaRoche won't get away with that. Not with Spy Fox on his trail. 
All right. Um, there seems to be... We can, like, sluice him into here, perhaps? That Tunnel. hammer is too far to reach from here. And go downstairs. Oh, oh, okay. We need the um, the hammer to break that. Righto. I think that made the sewer pipe move. Um, yeah, okay. Certainly did something. How do we get down to I can't there? Get there from here. Interesting. When that lever is thrown, LaRoche's escape card will plummet down the trap. I'm sure that's part of LaRoche's escape plan. I'll need to change that plan. Yeah, okay. Um. Oh, maybe we can go out. Oh, no, we can go this way. Derp. Yeah, right -o. Um, to <laughs> Spy Jail to Fiji. Okay, so we got to move the other pipe to here. Can we just go to I Fiji? I wonder where that pipe goes. No, I, I kind of want to go to, to Fiji. Fiji. That's where La Roche is going to make his getaway. I need to redirect these pipes away from there. Yeah, okay. Well, that seemed to be reasonably straightforward. Um. I think that made the pipe move. Right, so we got to move the... Hopefully that'll get us the... Hmm, alright. We gotta get this hammer first. This ball peen hammer looks interesting. It might come in handy. Alright. I did see there's another switch here too. It looks like this bolt connects that sewer grate to the lever above. Oh, this bolt. Oh, uh, what? Oh, we have to undo the bolt using that uh, spanner that was back there. Okay. Okay. Well, can we actually do that? Um, yeah, I, I want to set off the uh, the bad ending this time around to see what happens, because we... Yeah, it's kind of clear that we've got a bad ending this time, so let's try that. Yeah, <laughs> doink. Alright, so we'll grab the I've got banner. It. Go and undo that bolt. Yeah. Uh-huh. Alright, where was my spanner? Here we go. No, you wanna you wanna click on the spanner from Spy Fox? Go and do that bolt. Get rid of that grate. There you go. Beautiful. There, that moved the sewer grate out of the way. Right. So we'll head upstairs. We'll save. We'll check out the bad ending. Where we send thing out to Fiji. And then we'll we'll see the good ending. Right. Um. So use the watch. Save. Mm, bad end. That'll look. I right. don't want to throw that lever until I've got the plan to get LaRoche safely into Spy Jail. Oh, I wanted to I see the... I don't want to do that just yet. Oh. Okay, I guess we can't. I was kind of hoping for a bad end. Anyway. So how do we... Um, can we pull the... The other pipe further back? see if we can do that so really the trap was already set up for him to go to spy jail anyway was it right now we hit the other switch yeah right eh? no that pulls the uh, that pulls it back that's not what we want so can we hit the the pink one twice I guess that's what we've got to do Alright, hit the pink one. Push it again, there we go. Is 
against that. Yeah, that's moving the other pipe. Excellent. Alright. I guess we can set off this trap. Yeah, I, I, I probably should have looked that up to see, um, like, which ones you can get a bad end on. It's down the drain for you, LaRoche. What? You again? Uh-oh. Oh, the tiny pipe. Yep. I <laughs> even put the plug in where he came out. How humiliating. Yes, he is indeed covered in goo. For doing such a commendable job in catching Napoleon the Rose Spy Fox, you get my eternal gratitude. I had excellent help on this case, Chief. Ah, yes. I present to you the Grand Golden Family Approved Fortified Supreme Certificate of Excellence. Thanks, Chief. It was all in the line of duty. <laughs> duty. All right. So that's another, um... Oh, there's an actual song for the end of it. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Oh, it's a little quiet though, that's the only thing. Got a fair few bloody, um, writers on this one. No, I don't know if there was, like, someone's last name was Brothers, or there were two brothers called Scott. No, I'm, I'm not sure. But, yeah. For the deductive reasoning and daring deeds displayed in disabling oh, the dangerous and destructive evil dogbot for saving the world's fair from the total devastation and for defeating the deceptively dastardly and decidedly deceitful villain Napoleon LaRoche, you are hereby awarded this certificate of accomplishment along with Spy Corps' highest honors and unyielding gratitude. I'm the chief. Okay. Beautiful. Um... Except that's... Signed by the Spy Corps Chief and stamped with the oh, Spy Corps just... Wax Seal of Excellence. Oh, well, do I get to put my name in? Well, that, oh, that sucks. Oh. <laughs> Stupid. The weird little fart noise it made. Anyway, we're going to leave it there. I'm watching Death Sandals video, by the way. That's that's who the, the person is. So if you want to watch a full playthrough, Death Sandals... <laughs>